Hello friends, today we will have a discussion on 5th chapter of our economic survey. In the 4th chapter we discussed about the monetary management and as well as financial intermediation. But in the 5th chapter we will discuss about prices and inflation, successful tightrope walking. So this again a discussion on inflation is very very important by this time you are all aware because we have been discussing in the last chapters about the inflation so the inflation is very important especially for the developing countries like india because inflation is a tax on poor people definitely we need to contain and inflation containment measures lies on both fiscal side and monetary side and the causes of the inflation are two sides, one is on demand side and second one is supply side. They are all aware that is demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. But if you observe carefully, the inflation since, on, since onset of pandemic is majorly driven by supply side factors. Because of lockdown, there is a complete uh, problem, there is a complete halt of supply chain management. And some people definitely they have lost their job, but the demand has also reduced because people want to save money. So, when the supply chains got started working perfectly, then we have impacted with an another severe crisis called Russia-Ukraine war. So, when the supply chain are about to get streamlined, there is an another major global supply chain effect took place that has impacted again the India's inflation. But India tried to regulate or India tried to tame the inflation in the pandemic years. We are so successful in doing it. Last year economic survey has clearly mentioned about how India successfully tamed the inflation especially CPI. Anyway, I will come to the WPI a little bit late. But with the onset of Russia-Ukraine war, we have again started experiencing the high inflation. And for that, we have taken some measures, those things we will discuss. Okay. So, here they have mentioned about the supply chain disruption and cost push inflation and also how Russia-Ukraine war has... Uh, a, how Russia Ukraine war has added to that the earlier problem. Okay? And majorly in Russia Ukraine war, some of the essential items like edible oils and some of the items like crude oil and other minerals, their prices got increased. And we have seen the semiconductor crisis and how it has impacted the automobile sector of India. Okay? So these are all the effects. Inflation across the world. So, okay, before we start discussing the inflation in India, we must also understand what is the inflationary trend across the world because it is a global trend. I have been saying like this is a global trend. Just see, according to the IMF, the inflation in the advanced economies in the year 2021, it was only 3.1. But now, if you see in the year 2022, it was 7.2. You can imagine the level of inflation. You can imagine the level of inflation. And take the case of US, it has reached the 40 year high of 9.1 percent. 40 years high. Take the case of Euro, 10 percent. 10 percent inflation. Normally, developed countries, they will maintain an inflation within a range of 1 to 2 percent. But now you see the range, 9 percent, 10 percent. UK see 9.2 percent. Germany, 8.6 percent. When it comes to the emerging market economies, they were 5.9 percent in 2021, but they reached to 9.9 percent. See, you must understand the inflation in the advanced economies, they moved from 1 to 2 percent to the 9 percent, 10 percent, but in the developing world, they moved from 5 to 9 percent. So, though the inflation in the emerging economies is normally high, but the rate at which it has, grow, it has grown is low, but whereas in case of the developed economies, though the inflation is lower than compared to that of the 
developing countries, but the rate at which it has grown is very high. You can see here. See, this is an advanced economies. Always advanced economies maintain low inflation. Always emerging markets will maintain high inflation. But see, it has moved from 0.7 to 7. But see, it has moved from let it be 5.9 to 9.9. .9. The growth here, it is very high. That means there is a sudden surge in the inflation. That is what you need to understand. Next, high consumer price inflation in the advanced economies. So, take the case of UK, take the case of Germany, take the case of USA. Okay, USA has reached to a highest here, little bit and here highest. Okay, it is receding but still it maintained. And take the case of other countries, you can see the inflation. Take the case of Brazil. Okay. So, this is the level of inflation that they have maintained June, January 2022, December 2022 for the full calendar year. Okay. Next. Now, come to the India. Come to India. See, in India, normally we are following CPI as an inflation to target the inflation in this country under the monetary policy framework. So, CPI combined if you see CPI is having lot of weightages, I will show you the full box. Okay, this is whole CPI box. In this, you are all aware food and beverages are having highest weightage. But if you see financial year 2021-22, the food is itself is causing high inflation. In that food, the cereals are causing highest inflation. So, the reason for the CPI inflation is the reason for the CPI inflation or inflation in India is caused mostly by the cereals one. Cereals is contributing. Remaining here you can see the milk and milk product. Compared to the last two years, they are also contributing more. So, cereals are contributing more, milk and milk products are contributing more. Sometimes vegetables, here vegetables, okay, vegetables. But vegetable is always a fluctuation. But anyhow, so milk and milk products vegetables and cereals but oils have not impacted much but last year this edible oils and fats have contributed much because this year we have taken some measures to reduce the impact of inflation caused by the oils and fat why there is a huge increase of inflation because of cereals because because there is no global impact here last year if you see the excessive heat in the summer and uneven rainfall thereafter in some parts of the country has affected the farm sector, reducing the supply and causes some food shortage, especially in the wheat. That is why the wheat prices increase that is creating inflation. Okay. So, that is one. And anyhow, I have said oil in financial year 22, some subgroups like oil and fat, fuel and light, transport communication reported high inflation that we are talking about. That, that is talking about financial year 22, but in 23, these are the things. Now, again, I will show you in the 23. Yeah. See, fuel and light, we are all aware why. See, during the COVID year, you can see the fuel and light is so because the, 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 uh, the prices of the crude oil are low. But again, after that, it has started increasing. So, that is why fuel and light is also contributing more. And there is increase in little bit spices okay but this is a minor thing spices don't have much impact but share wise it is high and clothing and footwear clothing and footwear compared to the last three years now it contributed more clothing and footwear so cereals in the, in the food item cereals and as well as the milk and milk products vegetables apart from that clothing and footwear Fuel and light, they have caused more. They have caused more. As a result, as a result, our inflation is very high. If you see the headline inflation, it is 6.8. It is high. And core inflation, little bit sticky. But food inflation is also high compared to last year. So, the reasons for inflation, now you must understand. Food items, what are the subgroup? Clothing and footwear, fuel. Okay, spices is also one thing because you must understand the reasons otherwise you can't tame it because you don't know where inflation is occurring. Okay, so these are the areas where inflation is occurring. Now, declining food inflation but sticky core inflation. 
so food inflation in india if you take okay february to, okay here there is a problem of that heat wave and all and after food inflation is blue line after this russia ukraine war that means we are entering into summer this is because of this excessive heat and rainfall and after that it started stabilizing so food prices are stabilizing you are all aware headline is equals to core plus food and fuel now food is declining but core is still sticky that means on other items it is constant so that is why your headline inflation is not able to reduce much if there is an decrease in core inflation core inflation in the sense other than food and fuel if the remaining items if they reduce then definitely headline will also come down come down now retail inflation driven by food and beverage you can see food and beverages i think highest inflation is because of food and beverages okay after that yes there are some miscellaneous things they are also contributing to the inflation but the point but if you observe clearly compared to the last two years clothing and footwear is contributing more to the inflation this year compared to the this has not happened anywhere this has not happened anywhere see contributing factor agriculture is increased compared to the last year but decrease when you compare to that before that year financial year 21 but this is a continuous increase so here it is food and beverages some clothing clothing and footwear and some of the fuel is also a reason and miscellaneous okay you just see miscellaneous but in the miscellaneous if you observe it's almost same there is no much big change food inflation caused by vegetables and cereals in the year financial year 23 okay now if you see the rbi forecast elevated domestic prices for cereals and spices in the near term owing to supply shortages i think supply shortages are going to continue and because of that there will be an domestic elevated domestic price in cereals and spices next milk prices are also expected to spike reflecting high feed cost so if the feed cost increases definitely it will have its impact on milk prices so feed for cattle since september 2022 double digit inflation was observed in cereals but anyhow double digit inflation observed in cereals but already i have explained it in the first chapter that this inflation may not have the impact on poverty because india is following a targeted approach under pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana and other schemes so normally for the calculation purpose you can take the market price but this is not really exactly impacting the poor people so to check the soaring prices of wheat rice and the government has prohibited uh, so the government has taken some steps one is it has prohibited the exports of wheat so that the wheat will be available in india and supply will increase and prices comes down now to insulate the vulnerable sections from the rise in price yes prices are rising for cereals but vulnerable, se vulnerable sections are getting a, a subsidized price now they are getting free food grains so that means you are protecting by increasing the supply by protecting the vulnerable sections and poor people and government has also launched a new integrated food security scheme called pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana on 1st january 2023 to provide free food grains that means that 5 kg of food grains at free of cost at free of cost under national food security act there is a subsidized food grain but now free of food grain to more than 80 crore beneficiaries to more than 80 crore beneficiaries drivers of food inflation just see this is high vegetables this year high last year low see oil and fat last year high this year low okay spices compared to last year this year high but compared to previous year this is low okay pulses are not adding anything to the inflation just remember okay compared to last two years no but most of the thing happen from cereals sorry i forgot to mention cereals milk product and vegetables meat and fish is also there but compared to last two years it's not that high okay the weightages you can see potato onion tomato very important because of some 
uh, excess rainfall some of the crop got damaged because this is highly used uh, vegetables so definitely the change in prices of these will have its own impact if you see april may june there is a spike but after that there is a reduction in the inflation reduction in the inflation vegetable prices you can see but there is a spike and after that there is a decline after that there is a decline import of edible oils you can see both in terms of quantity and both in terms of value in terms of value since 2018 we are increasing but you know the reason for increasing though the quantum is almost constant you can see though the quantum is almost constant with little aberration but the value increased why value increased because we are importing 60 percent of our edible oils are made through the imports because of that there is because of that international fluctuations will certainly impact the edible oil prices and if you see last year during the covid 19 time because of the supply chain disruptions palm oil prices increased that added the that added to the inflation but last year we are importing 15 percent of our edible okay our 15 percent of our total edible oil imports are of sunflower and we will import it from russia and ukraine and you know what happened in russia and ukraine because of that supply chain disruption the prices in the sunflower oil increased that is why you can see this hike moderating retail prices of edible oils so when it comes to the retail prices of the edible oil though it was high at some point but later it has moderated why it has moderated because government of india has taken some steps government of india has taken some steps steps includes like rationalizing the customs and excise on imported uh, edible oils and also put imposing stock limits under essential commodities act because so that you cannot create an artificial scarcity to hike the prices so government of india has taken up those two steps as a result as a result we are able to contain the prices of retail prices of the edible oil in the due course of the time okay now measures to contain inflation in essential food commodities so these are the measures taken by the government of india to contain the prices so prices cannot be contained automatically definitely governments have to take the steps and whenever we are discussing about the cpi inflation definitely in cpi majority thing is food items in that cereal pulses vegetables oils and milk products and another important aspect is uh, the, the food and fuel uh, fuel fuel and light and fuel and light is not in our hand it is an external thing but at least if you able to tame the inflation in the food items definitely you can tame the inflation of C cpi inflation so here they have mentioned about some of the measures taken by the government both in cereals both in pulses and also in edible oils so you can read these boxes so it is something related to hmm, reducing the uh, excise and custom duties stopping the exports uh, accepting more imports like that and creating some buffers creating buffer stocks uh, put limitation on the stock holding of the private individuals uh, like that we have taken some steps in edible oil also we have taken some steps here they have clearly mentioned under essential commodity act we have mentioned soya meal as an essential commodity once you declare something as an essential commodity the government can regulate the prices the government can regulate the private stock holdings you are not supposed to store beyond a particular point so likewise government of india has taken various steps by rationalizing the different taxes and also rationalizing the exports and imports so these steps are important next headline inflation food inflation rural and urban i think both are following the same trajectory ah. at the state level at the state level you can see the highest inflation is in the state of telangana okay so most of the inflation caused in rural area because you are all aware i told you food inflation fuel inflation and especially in fuel the firewood and cow dung cakes and also cloth statewide information they have given compared to the last year all the states except the jammu and okay not except jammu and kashmir is one tamil nadu is little bit karnataka okay 
not all the states in some states compared to last year inflation is low in some states compared to last year inflation is high but the in the financial year 23 the highest inflation recorded in in the state of telangana now we have discussed about wpi inflation now we'll looking into sorry we discussed about cpi inflation now we're looking into wpi inflation wholesale price index <coughs> see in the wpi again the weightages are different lot of weightage is given to the industrial products not to the food items though food items is having its own weightage but highest weightage is given to the manufactured products that you are all aware 64.2 so a small change in manufactured products will have an impact on the wpi and 13.2 percent is given to the fuel and if you observe in the financial year 23 the again the problem the, the, the contributing factors to the WPI though cereals is a factor though vegetables is a factor though fuel and power is also a factor but the manufacturing product factor is also very high in some of the items they have not given it fully but here because a little increase here will have its own impact so though the number looks less here but because of the global supply chain disruption some of the metal prices has started increasing that has its own impact on the wpi anyhow fuel and power increased and cereals and vegetables increased though the number looks very high but it cannot contribute much because the weightage itself is low though the number looks low because of high weightage it contributes more okay now so declining core and food inflation with, with respect to wpi so the food inflation reduced core inflation in case of wpi in case of wpi it is reducing that means other than food items in the wpi though it was high though it was high for some months though it was high for some months but after that it has started declining as a result the headline inflation of wpi reduced now it is reducing but prior to that it was very high i'll give you the reason why drivers of wholesale inflation uh, what are the drivers manufacturing products i already told you but compared to last year it is low but still this year it is high fuel and power and primary articles especially the food items okay the highest is from manufacturing product now the measures to contain the inflation in input prices see the measures to contain the input prices for the cpi is different and for the wpi is different because in cpi if you are able to control the prices of the food item that's fine because the weightage of food items is high but here manufacturing items prices you have to control so for that government of india has taken various steps you can see fuel prices plastic products steel cotton diamond and gemstone chemical products so when you are writing about the wpi controlling measures you have to focus more on industrial products when you are writing about cpi you have to focus more on food items you have to focus on food item you can see import duty on major inputs we have reduced okay customs duty and polished diamonds uh, reduced like that we try to reduce the customs and excise so that we can reduce the prices that will have an impact on wpi and so the wpi inflation will come down moderation in crude oil prices so crude oil and brent to crude oil so yes it is reducing after february it started increasing it reached to the high but again now it started reducing yeah convergence of headline wpi inflation with headline cpi inflation see if you see april 21 headline inflation is high compared to that of cpi but now they are converging see this reason for wpi is very very important normally wpi inflation maintains low level compared to that of cpi but the reason for highest wpi in april 21 is see normally when you are taking the inflation of april 21 may 21 june 21 you will compare it with the april 20 may 20 june 20 what happened in april 20 may 20 june 20 in april 20 may 20 june 20 the industrial process has completely stopped that means it is zero percent now on the base of zero a little amount of improvement in april 21 will definitely gives you high inflation 
so high inflation in the sense not prices are high it is because of the zero base or it is because of the low base of the pandemic year it has high it has high so that is why for continuously some years it may for, for, for continuously some months it maintained high inflation but here we here we are trying to moderate it by february but what happened in the february in february when russia ukraine war broke out again fuel prices start increases again the prices of the some of the metal increases actually from the april onwards from the april onwards on a larger base on a larger base even a larger increase should give less inflation but it has given high inflation because russia ukraine war and after that now the prices are getting stabilized now it is reducing it is reducing because prices are reducing is one the high base that prevailed in the last year is one these are the two things okay anyway cpi inflation i used to tell you like during the covid years we have maintained a comfortable inflation but our problem starts with february 22 internationally driven so it is high now it is reducing but we don't know exactly what happened okay so this range is different this range is different so the reasons for low cpi the reasons for high cpi the reasons for high wpi high wpi and low wpi this is because of calibrated approach by the government of india okay we haven't pumped the money in whatever way like we have given the money whenever there is a requirement later we have given to the industrialist so that uh, the, the production and money supply will get balanced so that is a unique thing so here you have written firstly a cooling in inflation of commodities such as crude oil iron aluminium and cotton led to the lower wpi these commodities occupy a larger weight in the wpi as compared to the cpi cpi inflation rose due to the increase in the prices of services that means miscellaneous services miscellaneous item miscellaneous items convergence in core inflation so that includes food and fuel that includes food and fuel but if you exclude the food and fuel okay here there is no problem but here if you see the wpi yes it is reducing much it is reducing much and here it is so here it won't it won't include food and fuel if you remove just food and fuel when it comes to the other item the services items are contributed more that is why still it is maintaining a sticky inflation but whereas when it comes to the wpi just now i said these prices have come down as a result this inflation is reduced so this is related to core monetary policy measure for price stability so definitely just now you have seen the measures taken by the government of india to contain the inflation if for both CPI and WPI, in case of pulses, cereals, edible oils. In case of WPI, you have seen the various metals uh, and fuel. So, that is a fiscal measure. Fiscal measure means exports, imports, tax rationalization and uh, the maintaining buffers. Okay. But whereas when it comes to the monetary policy, yes. But the obvious option for the Reserve Bank of India is to increase the interest rate. That is the only way through which you can... Uh, contain the inflation you can see from april onwards four percent interest rates after that you can see four four point four four to four point four four point four to four point nine four point nine to five point four five point four to five point nine five point nine to six point two five see total how many basis per 150 190 190 225 2 point two five percentage of 225 basis points that we have interest rate that we have increased it has done across all the world but india has also taken up the same step in the monetary policy we have shown like reserve bank of india come up with various things and it has given a signal that we are ready to increase the interest rate if it is required to take away the money from the economy to tame the inflation these are the steps taken by the reserve bank of india next okay when it comes to the, the the outlook futuristic outlook though there was an increase in inflation headline inflation of cpi it reached to the highest level we are maintaining at a moderate it is showing a sign of reduction but still this has given up to december but in the month of january again it has crossed so still we are in a dilemma we don't know what will happen but we don't reach to this level may not be eight percent 
But whereas when it comes to the WPI, yes, it is stabilizing. Now, what the what survey is saying, RBI forecast elevated domestic prices for cereals and spices in the near term owing to the supply shortages. So, maybe cereal prices may continue. This year, some people are expecting like there will be a heat wave, but that heat wave may not impact the, uh, the, the production of the wheat because by that time, wheat will get harvested. But still, RBI is forecasting like elevated domestic prices for cereals, food inflation may continue. Milk prices are also expected to spike. Milk prices are also expected to spike reflecting the high feed cost already mentioned. In general, in general, climate across the world has become increasingly erratic, further fortifying upside risk to food prices. You don't know what will happen to the geopolitical conflict. If the conflict will rise, definitely countries will follow the protectionistic tendency. If the protectionistic tendency is increasing, then it is very difficult for us to go for imports. Imports become costier, that will increase the prices. A lot dependence on industrial input prices. They may ease, but on the flip side, their delayed pass through consumer prices may contribute to the stickness of the core inflation. Okay, the point is industrial inputs, whether it can be metals or some of the machineries, those prices may reduce because if there is a global slowdown, definitely prices will come down. But that is WPA, that is WPA, but that, ha that will pass to the consumer with some delay. Suppose, I purchase some industrial raw material. It pri it, its price has reduced. That will have an immediate impact and let it be WPA. But one item has to be manufactured. That manufactured item has to reach to the retail level. Then only the retailer will, retailer will feel that my the price of the commodity has reduced because of the reduction in the price of the input or machinery. So, Industrial input and machinery prices reduction will have an immediate impact on WPI, but that will have an impact on CPI with only some delay because this is an industrial product that is an end product. So, here though industrial input prices are reducing, but it will have a delayed impact on delayed impact on our CPI. So, there will be a stick in that stickness in the core inflation. Still, overall. The inflation challenge in the financial year 24 must be a lot less stiff than it has this year. We expect monetary and fiscal authorities to be as proactive, as vigilant as they have been in this year. So, we are proactive. You have seen Reserve Bank of India, what steps that they have taken. You have seen Government of India, what steps they have taken. We are able to tame the WPA, but still there is a problem of food inflation. Still, it is hanging between uh, hanging around 6 percent but anyhow like how we did in the last year this year also we may expect that our governments will do perfectly and let us tame the inflation okay thank you this is about inflation just remember the measures taken and also the trajectory of the inflation okay thank you amrita ias academy 